AI is taking the world by storm. Companies are investing billions of dollars, but how can a little guy like me use it to make money? Well, yesterday wasn't too bad. The day before was actually a little bit better because I was able to use AI to help build part of my e-commerce business. Now, I've been drop shipping and building brands for many years, and I've helped a lot of people do it. Today, I'm gonna to share with you how to integrate AI and make the process so much easier so that you don't have to guess on a lot of these things. You don't need six months to learn it. AI is gonna help you accelerate some of this stuff. Not all of it, but it's going to help. Now, I'm also giving away $100 in this video. All you got to do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below with the keyword that I'm going to mention later in this video. Now, you're not going to want to miss this one. I'm going to show you two of my own e-commerce stores. You're going to be able to see what I've sold and different things like that, but we're going to build off of them, and I'm going to show you how to use AI to make even more money. All right, it's gonna be super exciting. Make sure to open your Shopify store using the link down below. If you use that link, you're gonna get super special terms for the trial on Shopify. You're gonna get a much longer extended trial and a bunch of special perks. So you'll wanna use that link. Let's jump in. All right, so the product description framework. This is a little bit about how I build my product descriptions. Now to show you an example, let's jump over to one of these stores. These are very basic descriptions. This is what I would call like a level one out of three. Super basic, there's not a lot of stuff going on. Now, if we jump into a product like this, Scholar Kids, this one didn't do as well. This store still scaled to about $4,000 a day. This product description is a very different structure, okay? Because you're going to have a big photo down here, you know, have a little bit of stuff, but this is built for a different type of audience, right? So as we scroll through here, a lot of reviews, we build that, keep it nice and simple, okay? This product description is something that you write in two minutes and boom, you just go test your product. It doesn't need to be super complicated, but the reason this store scaled to over $12,000 a day only running TikTok ads really quickly was because the product was good and the marketing was good. But I'm gonna show you how to write these descriptions and how to do a couple other things using AI, okay? But first, here's the description framework that you should follow, all right? Up top, I'm gonna to put a one to two sentence headline that I center in the page and I usually have it in bold. This captivates, I need to grab somebody's attention. From there, I'm gonna go into specifics about the product, features, get healthy now, whatever it is. Let's say it's this product right here, you know, surprise your loved one, get an amazing reaction, a memory that lasts forever, et cetera, right? A lot of those features of it and maybe some specifics about the product, the material, things like that. Short paragraph, if applicable, something not too long, an image, a GIF, or a video, something to break it up. I'm going to show you how to use AI to do this one. Another short paragraph, if you need to or want to. Again, I'm breaking this up so that it's very easy to read. A lot of people, like, they just write the fattest article. It's like, I'm going to get lost, right? So keeping it simple. And then I do another small sub headline that says what's included in the package. And then I'm going to give order specifics. Hey, it's a 12 inch chain for the necklace. It's going to be one gift box, a card and blah, blah. Like, you know, specifics about what they're getting, you know, double A batteries not included. If you're selling something with battery, you know, you get the idea. You want to give specifics there. That's going to be a very easy, you know, probably twice to three times this long description. It's gonna be super simple. Now, when it comes to photos and generating things of that nature, you can use Midjourney, but it does require some more aggressive prompting. If you scroll around on TikTok or on Twitter and search it up, you can get a bunch of free prompts that help you do this. But if you use the right prompts, you're gonna be able to use this to generate some super crazy quality images and art. I'll put some up on the screen, but you can definitely find a way to integrate your product into those prompts and get custom photos immediately for free that are unique. That's a really big benefit. I spend a lot of money with photographers and videographers. So if you can do that, at least for the stuff that we put into our product description, that's gonna make your life much easier. So that's a super simple framework. Now, let's actually start using AI. We're gonna use ChatGPT, okay? Very simple. This tool can do pretty much anything writing-wise than any other tool can. So I'll give you an example. Writer.me is an AI tool that allows you to write emails, blogs, newsletters, whatever. It's like specific writing tools, right? Facebook ads. And it is great. I have used it. I've paid for it. It's not bad. However, this is something that is still at least built off of this. Whatever this can do, ChatGPT can also do it. It might be harder, take a little longer because this platform is built specifically for a couple of things, but you can still get it done with ChatGPT, which is free. You can still use their free version. So let's say, write me a product description for, hmm, what should the product be? Let's do this, a winning product right now, a remote control mini drone that you control with your phone. This is a product that's trending on TikTok, here, let's see what they wrote. See how this is long, it's a little bit, these these are too long of paragraphs, you know, in my opinion, if you're just gonna have a bunch of these back to back, you see how you kind of get lost in this, right? And they're still writing, it's just going and going. So it's one of those things where it, it gets a little long. So you can reel this back. Let's say 
make it shorter. That's like step one basic prompting. I want it to like be mid-size. I might go ahead and copy all this and start to narrow it down, okay? I'm gonna go figure out what the product is, what's included in the package, because with that information, I can now go build this subheadline where it's, you know, features of the product, you know, or I'm just gonna literally put features as the headline, then put some bullet points of what the features are. Subheadline, you know, again, what's included in the package, and then I'm gonna have some more bullet points on that. So all of those I could pull separately from whatever manufacturer or supplier I'm working with, but then inside of here, this is selling. People are going to read the description. You need to sell your product. And that's why this is really cool because you could tell ChatGPT to make it more convincing, make it funny or put a joke. Like you can do all these different things. So introducing the remote control mini drone, a compact smartphone controlled marvel of aerial exploration. Connect your phone wirelessly and experience seamless flight with intuitive control. Like boom, that's great. This, I like this. Connect your phone wirelessly and experience seamless flight. I'm gonna reword that and put connect your phone wirelessly and fly the drone with ease, okay? And so what I'm gonna do there now, I'm gonna put that in bold, I'm gonna center the headline. That's gonna be the very top of my product description. Now we're gonna get into some specifics about the product, okay? Okay, so I'm just creating random stuff here, pretending as if I know, you know, I'm gonna make jokes, won't kill you if you hit the blade, it doesn't hurt too bad. Long battery life, you know, whatever the battery time is, 70 minutes of flight time, crazy, five inches across, connect up to three phones, like I'm gonna put all those things in there. That's features of the product that AI is not gonna be able to do, but now you can take all of this with intelligent flight modes, built-in safety features, portable drones, perfect for adventures on the go, fly, capture, share, boom, I like that. Now, if you copy paste from here, it's gonna give you this super weird background usually, which is annoying, okay, whatever. That's gonna be another section. Then you're gonna see me put the photo, GIF, video, whatever. That's gonna be the next step, okay? And if you want to, again, you can prompt mid-journey to do some of that. I do recommend just using whatever photo, TikTok, little thing, and integrating that onto your store. Let me show you an example. I'll give a little love to my buddy Jake here. Go order yourself some pillow slides. They're actually great, great footwear. Super awesome store here. Take a look. With these videos, the gifts, the things that are inserted high quality into the product description where it alternates. He goes right, left, right. Uh, actually, never mind, he might have removed that, or maybe I forgot. But a lot of times people have multiple things there where it like kind of alternates. So it's such an aesthetic store, right? And you kind of integrate the product description. How much easier is this to read, right? Than what they first wrote us where it's this long. Like you're not gonna read all of this. That's just ridiculous. You're not going to do that. But this is so much easier to read. You get a visual, it's stimulating, it's interesting. This helps you produce dopamine. It literally is almost a drug. And that's what's interesting about it. And you can use AI to help write some of this stuff and nail it down. You can also use it to do research on the product, the market, the people that might be interested. I think that's where the benefit of AI comes in when it comes to writing stuff. Now, one thing that I do think AI crushes it on is the emails. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down here. Now, Emails is where things get a little interesting because again, you have writer that can help. You have a lot of different email tools. I think emails is a little bit better than the product descriptions because it can write the whole thing for you and then I'll modify. With the descriptions, I'm really modifying it and like barely using it. I'm using it for some research, some main points, some interesting ways to say things. But for the emails, you can have AI write the whole thing and you just insert your discount code. Let me show you. I'm gonna say, write me an abandoned cart email for customers who didn't purchase my Bluetooth phone controlled drone, give them a 20 percent off discount code because this is the typical email that you're going to send out you're going to do it once and it's going to be automated this thing prints money i frequently make tens of thousands of dollars each month just off email now abandoned cart is a big piece of that subject line don't miss out complete your order and enjoy 20 percent off hello put the name we noticed blah 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 and you could like again modify it a little bit shorten it but this is perfect that is a nailed email that is this is Perfect. You have the button there that returns to their specific cart. It tracks all of that. Pretty automated through Shopify, through Clavio, whatever uh, you know, product uh, service that you want to use. This is literally perfect. So that's where I think we're going to see advancements where AI comes in and can help these e-commerce businesses. One of my friends, John, he runs an email marketing company. They do about 1.6 million a month in sales. And they were at first really worried about AI where people might just, instead of their clients paying them 10 grand a month to run their email, they're just going to have AI do it but now they found a way to kind of integrate AI where it's helping them do it even better. So that's really cool. What I do think, and I'm gonna give you a bonus point here, but first, the keyword for the giveaway. Okay, the keyword for the giveaway is we love e-commerce. Okay, we love e-commerce. Comment that down below and you'll be entered for the $100 giveaway. I'm gonna announce it over on my Instagram. Okay, the last bonus point I wanna give you on AI because this is something that reduced my overhead. I love this. I still have a VA, a virtual assistant, that I hired on onlinejobs.ph. We have a lot of them, they're awesome, that 
they still work and do our customer support. But what I do like is having a chat bot. So this is the cool part. I like chat bots, okay? This is something where you can have it on your store. You don't need to right away until my product is actually selling and I wanna go help train a chat bot and have it, you know, you gotta monitor it, make sure it's saying the right stuff. But you ever land on a website and it's got a pop-up that says live chat and you know you're not talking to a person. It might redirect you to a help desk. It might send you to a different link. It's gonna do that, but it can handle 80% of the communications. Why do you think they do that with automated phone centers as well? Because it removes the need to pay somebody significantly. So if you can do that and help give somebody, you know, answer a basic question, that gives them a better experience. You can have that little pop-up on your store that will, you know, pop up down over here and say, can I help you with anything? And that is where I think AI is going to make the big strides in customer service. Really the machine learning side of that where it can learn exactly every problem, every solution. It can do that and never have emotional flare-ups. Like I've had support people yell at me, get frustrated, hang up, you know, disconnects. That doesn't happen with AI ever. And so that's where I think the benefits will come in, especially for an e-commerce business. But ChatGPT, not bad for now. And so people might say this doesn't work, but this right here, I'll blow it up here, is a brand new store. Running on TikTok, I used AI to help with product descriptions. It wrote the automated email sequence. We send out five abandoned card emails, one every day for a couple of days, and it's crushing it. I mean, it's already up to almost $6,000 a day. It's ridiculous. So you can still do e-commerce. You can still drop ship. And if you want help with that, you want one-on-one -on -one coaching from myself and my team, you can click the link down below and answer a couple questions. We have a super small group coaching program where we work very closely with people, just like our student Marcos, who crossed a quarter million dollars in sales in under two months. Absolutely nuts. We help people start even if you're brand new or scale aggressively, just like Marcos, to over $17,000 a day. So if you need help, if you want you know, the best possible guidance on this and us to hold you accountable, work with you one-on-one -on -one multiple times per week, that's the spot to do it. Just fill it out and then we'll be in touch. So be sure to use that Shopify link down below as well. Again, you're going to get extended special trial terms. You're going to want to make sure you get that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Somebody's going to win that $100 giveaway. Um, I'm glad to give away the money. I hope it helps somebody. So I appreciate your attention through this video. I'll see you in the next one.